no charger. So many times a day, I come in and there's, there's, there's this, this, doesn't work without the cords. Probably anybody with teenagers feels my pain of no cords when you want to charge your phone. Does anybody have a charger? Seriously? To, hey, Laurie, are you looking for these? As a matter of fact, I, I am. Not really who I was expecting them from, but yes, well, I was looking for those. I'm sorry, when I came over, I took the cords mm -hmm. and I plugged my phone in to charge them, mm -hmm. and I forgot to ask you. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. It's fine. Oops, it's all good. I don't think it's really fine. No, it's fine. It Are you super fine. mad? I'm not super mad, just, you know, kind of mad. Kind of mad. That's reasonable. Yeah. I think it's okay. Yeah. So, Every, anyway, you guys understand that, sorry. right? It's been a long day. Mm. You know. Well, hi. I'm Pastor Meredith, and this is, of course, Miss Laurie, and we're here for Celebrate Wonder today with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and I, of course, borrowed uh, Miss Laurie's cord, and that's kind of made for some big feelings today, huh? Mm -hmm. I think it's a big, big feelings, feelings day. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that here today with Celebrate Wonder. Yes. Uh, with our worship and our time together today. We're so glad that you're here and uh, that we're going to have this time of singing and worship and learning together in our activity. And charging. And apparently charging, charging. the phone. Yes. So we're glad uh, that you're joining with us. If you need a Celebrate Wonder kit uh, to be a part of our wonderful online learning, please let us know in the church office. I want to remind you right now that we're going to be having um, a pickup of our new kits this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. We're going to remember to mention that again at the end. Yep. Uh, so you can come pick up your new kits and an Advent wreath and all those kinds of things. But you know what? We probably should get going into our wonder table and work on some of these big feelings we've been having. Yeah, I think so. A lot of big feelings today. This was just the start of it or end of it or I don't know. But we'll see you in a minute. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Welcome to, I believe this is week 11 wow. of Celebrate Wonder. It is, it truly is, yes. So, we're gonna start with the wonder candle. Yeah, mm -hmm. same thing. I light it, because we don't wanna light the lamb. Light the candle, not the lamb. A little close there, Lod. Okay, maybe. Ah. Nice job, y'all. Yes. Nice job. Yes, so now we can get started. <laughs> Yes, indeed we can. We can. So, what you've been wondering about, Miss Laurie? Well, you know, back with the whole phone charger thing, you know, I've been thinking about that. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you get mad, have you ever noticed that like your heart beats a little faster, oh, and my cheeks get red? Yeah, sometimes I start to talk louder. Sometimes I start to shake a little bit. Yeah. Like, and I think some kind of like mean, bad things in my head sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. How about you guys? I bet you all have had some feelings mm -hmm. like that too. Especially this mm -hmm. year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great big feelings that just affect yeah. your whole body. They do. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes my stomach doesn't even feel very good oh, when I yeah. get really upset or angry. Mm -hmm. or yeah. yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. You too, Lod? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand. He does. He's very understanding. Very understanding, Liam. Yeah. Well, what is it that, how do you respond? Often that happens when somebody hurts your feelings, right? You get mad or you get sad. How do, yeah. you, how do you respond? What does that feel like? Or what, well, how do you respond when somebody hurts your feelings? I know how I should respond. <laughs> I should, you know, maybe take a deep breath and sometimes in my head count to ten. But unfortunately, sometimes I just get really mad, mm -hmm. and I yell. Oh, me too. Yeah, I yell. Sometimes I stomp off and slam a door. Oh, yeah. My family will tell you I'm kind of a door slammer, cabinet slamming especially. Any of you mm -hmm. guys, same thing? Yeah. Yeah. They always know when mom's not very happy because she's slamming things. What are the kinds of things that make you angry, Miss Laurie? Well, missing chargers for one. That would be one. That's a big one in this house. Mm. Um, you know, 
sometimes when people like finish something in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and they put the container back, that makes me unhappy. Sometimes I get really angry when people are mean to other people. That makes me very angry. Oh, yeah. Not just mean to me. That mm -hmm. can make me angry, but mean to somebody else. Yeah, I don't even like it when my kids are sometimes mean to each other. Mm -hmm. that, that makes yeah. me very sad. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Well, you know, in our Bible story today that we hope that you all will read together, it's from Genesis chapter 27. Pe people were getting mad all the way back then? Even back then. In the Bible, we hear about people getting mad. Genesis chapter 27, verses mm. 1 through 45. We're yeah. continuing in our story about Jacob and Esau. Last week, we learned about how Jacob mm. got his brother's birthright, Esau's birthright. But now in this story, we hear about how Jacob tricks his father into giving him, Jacob, Esau's blessing. So what happens is Jacob wants his father's blessing that's supposed to be for his older brother. So he tricks his dad. He makes his father's favorite food, his favorite recipe. And Isaac's gotten kind of old. He can't hear really well. And he kind of puts on, Jacob puts on a disguise and he goes in. And he tells his father, oh, yes, this is Esau. And he gives Jacob his, I mean, he gives um, uh, Isaac his favorite food to eat. And then Isaac, who's not really sure what's going on, he's like, okay, yeah, I guess it's Esau. He blesses Jacob and gives away Esau's blessing to Jacob. And then we find out when Esau finds out that his brother Jacob has taken his blessing, he gets so angry and so mad at his brother. He says, I'm going to kill you, and he means it. Not like, oh, I'm going to kill you for taking my charger. Like, I'm going to kill you. And Jacob has to run away, and Esau is just that angry. So it's just this incredible story about how a blessing kind of turns into a, a, a banishment almost for Jacob and for Esau when he does receive his, uh, his father's blessing. You know, it's easy sometimes, oh, poor lot. I think he got scared. Did he get a little scared? A little well, scared. sometimes kind of a scary story. it is a little bit. You know, it's easy to get overwhelmed when life gets hard, right? Sometimes all of those feelings that Jacob and Esau were having were just overwhelming, weren't they, Lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes it's easy to just get lost in all of those big feelings when there's chaos all around us. Sometimes it makes it hard for us to see clearly and make good decisions. Like if Esau maybe had been able to stop for a minute, maybe he wouldn't have wanted to kill his brother, yeah. right? And if Jacob had been able to stop for a minute, maybe he wouldn't have stolen his brother's blessing that way. Mm -hmm. But we find out that if, if we can go to God, if we can pause for just a second, maybe even just a moment, again, to stop and listen and mm -hmm. think carefully and pray, that that can help us. It can remind us that we don't have to face those things alone, that in the stillness of God's presence with us, that we can are reminded of God's blessing and goodness that is enough for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, should we what, roll our wonder cube oh, we and should. see what we get? Okay. This part isn't scary. Remember to use your wonder cube at home, too. Okay, here we go. Ready? We're going to do it this way. Where did I see God in the Bible story? Hmm. Well... I mean, he's all over the story, but I think he's kind of teaching us about anger mm -hmm. and what to do about that. Mm -hmm. And what, what not, not to do what about, not to do about yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm going to roll them. Okay, my turn. I'm going to roll the Wonder Cube. Here we go. Oh, same thing. That's same thing. Good. Purple. Mm, I wonder if you could be any character in the Bible story, what character would you be and why? Oh, I know who I don't want to be. Who don't you want to be? Well, I... I don't know. Well, okay, I, I, I would not want to be... I wouldn't want to be Isaac. Mm. This is a rough situation for a dad, huh? Yeah, and he's being tricked. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't know. So I feel really bad for him. Mm -hmm. It's hard to want to be any of the characters in this story. I was going to say, no, it's just not... Yeah, because nobody is really uh, having a very good go of it, are they? Interesting. No. Well, should we pray together? I think we should. Because we're going to pray and then watch our Bible story video. Okay. Are you ready, Miss Laura? Are you going to pray for us? I am ready. Okay. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Thank you for being with me. 
Thank you for being with me. When I have big feelings. When I have big feelings. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with me to not have really big feelings right now and yell at my dog mm. who well, wants to go outside. That's okay. We're going to watch our Bible video, so pay, in, uh, pay close attention and get in really close so you can see everything that goes on there. Thanks. And we'll go let out the dog. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Hi friends, it's Gabby. In this story today, Isaac, Esau's dad, sent for Esau so that he could give him a blessing. Isaac told him to go and prepare food for him, just the way he liked it. Esau went out to get food and bring it back. But while he was out, his brother, Jacob, and his mother did something really wrong. They tricked Isaac into thinking that Jacob was Esau. They prepared food for him just the way he wanted and dressed up Jacob so that he would feel hairy like his brother. Isaac was tricked and gave the blessing to Jacob instead of Esau. When Esau returned, he found out that his blessing had been given to his brother. He was so hurt and he cried and asked Isaac to bless him. But Isaac said that he had already given his blessing to his brother. What happened to Esau was really unfair. He was hurt and really upset. It's okay to be upset when someone has done something wrong to you. Do you know what can help? Prayer. Prayer can be really helpful when you've been hurt. Prayer doesn't just have to be on your knees with your head down and your eyes closed. Prayer can be writing down your feelings to God, taking deep breaths or walking with God, or creating art. One time, me and my friend were talking and she really hurt my feelings. I had to walk away because I was so upset. I remember that Dad said, I can always talk to God about anything. As I was walking, I was so hurt and angry. I walked around and told God the whole story. After, I was still hurt, but I felt a lot better. No matter how I pray, God is always there with me. That is so comforting to know. God is always with you, too. I'm not sure exactly what type of prayer would have been best for Esau, but I do think that if he had known that God was with him, it would have made him feel a lot better. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Hi everybody, it is our craft time, and today's is a little bit different. We are gonna talk about food, like they did in the Bible and recipes, and family, and eating, my favorite part. So some people keep a recipe book. Sometimes they have little recipe cards. A lot of times today, a lot of my recipes are online, but I do still have some from my family that I keep in this book, or things that my family just really likes to eat that I have to look at all the time. So when I find one of those, I fill this out. I write it on a piece of paper. They don't all look like this and that neat. Sometimes they're just scribbled on a piece of paper, but they're there. Sometimes an index card. So miracle of television. We have my grandmother's soft sugar cookies. And I have all of the ingredients here. And this is something that my family, we like to share every holiday season. I could bake them any time, but I really like doing these over the holidays because that's what I remember. My grandmother bringing these every Christmas in her Tupperware container. And we loved them. And although mine aren't quite as good as hers were, we all enjoy them. And I do this every year. And that's something you can do with your, your families. You could cook a meal together write down your favorite recipe or draw a picture of it and give it to mom or dad or whoever you are living with say this is my favorite could we make this together because it's fun to do that together and share that meal together and that's a real blessing it's a blessing to have those memories with your families and to make sure when you write those things down and you draw those pictures that creates a memory too. 
a long time from now. But so, that is your job, is to write down a favorite recipe or draw your favorite food, make it together as a family, and recognize the blessing that that is, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. All right, guys, happy cooking. Really? It's gone again. The charger, it's gone. But I think maybe from today's lesson, I'm gonna remind myself I am here. And I'm blessed. Sometimes if I just repeat that to myself, I am here. It's kind of calming. And it does, it reminds me that I'm blessed. And, and I didn't handle that very well the last time. And I yelled and then I just didn't feel good. And so this time, I'm gonna try it differently. Oh, Pastor Meredith, question. Do you happen to know where a phone charger might be? Maybe. Oh, thank you. I was so You're worried. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I oh. actually found them in the other room, and I thought maybe oh. you were looking for them. Yes. I heard you practicing that phrase, mm -hmm. I am here. I Adults, am here. this is our spiritual practice for this week, that whenever we have those interruptions, those things that make us frustrated, to take mm -hmm. a moment and a deep breath and say, I, I am, am here. here. I am blessed. Yeah. That's a good practice. And it probably will go a little bit better. I think so. This one's better. I did. I feel good. Excellent. Me too. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you for joining us again for our Celebrate Wonder. We had a great time today. Learned a lot of things. That we yes. did. The main thing to remember this week is this word blessing. You are a blessing. And you are blessed. I'm a blessing. You are a blessing. And, and I am blessed. blessed. And I am a blessing. And I am blessed. And Lon is a blessing and he is blessed. Nice. Yeah, he's pretty excited about that. Mm -hmm. So to help us remember that, mm -hmm. we are going to use some hand sanitizer. And we are going, I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use it on Lod first, okay. on his little hoof. Oops. I'm going to draw a little heart that's on my finger with the hand sanitizer on his on his little hoof here. Aw, he liked that. I made him feel very special. Do oh, you want to try? Could I try? Can I yes. get a little heart? And I'm going to say, you ready? Mm-hmm. You, or would you lift your hand up? We'll see oh. you. That you are blessing, Aww. Miss Laurie, and you are blessed. Aw. That'd be a fun thing to do together as a spiritual practice as a family, right? Yeah. It'd be nice this week. I think that would be nice. Good. And a good use of hand sanitizer. Mm, especially mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Oh, I see our celebrate chart over there too. Oh, yes. Do not forget our celebrate chart. Here in a couple of weeks, you're going to be getting a brand new one of these. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to check how you're doing as a family. Mm -hmm. And those, those are, are blessings things. for other people Those too. are blessings for other people right. and ourselves too. Some yeah. of them. That's good. Yeah. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Don't forget to hang on for just a couple of minutes more as we get to enjoy mm -hmm. our song together. And remember that this Saturday and Sunday is pickup times for Advent wreaths for people of mm -hmm. all ages. And also to pick up your new Celebrate Wonder kit for the Advent and Christmas season. That's on Saturday from 10 to 12 and again on Sunday from 1 to 3 outside at the church building. So we hope to see you then. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. Don't forget to sing. Sometimes you don't move fast enough for me, and I start playing tricks.